Alright, hey everybody. Um, so, I said I'd do a quick unboxing video. Well, not quick, I actually plan to do this quite thoroughly. So, an unboxing of the new Prophecy of the Wolf box set with Ragnar and Gaskul. So, we'll look at the box. Regular, what you would expect. Uh, all the Contents, contents there, but let's get to opening it. I guess. So there's been a lot of lots of troubles with people getting this, this box. Uh, apparently, my local store they had already got their order in, or their order was on the way already before the workshop closed closed out due to the unfortunate situation at hand so I was able to get one I actually originally didn't plan to get this box so I planned to just buy Ragnar separately but but since they had it in stock and I don't know how long it will take to get Ragnar I thought I'd just get it then after all. So lots of lots of sprues and I thought the sprues are probably what people are interested in most and the book so I'll take the camera a little bit closer and look the sprues a little bit closer. <laughs> so let's begin with the main attraction at least for me which is the Ragnar sprue. So, let's see, get the camera to focus on it, so there we have the head, the glorious space wolf head, I'm thinking I might add a quick beard on him as well. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the top knot, but it's such an iconic part of Ragnar that I think I'll keep it on mine. It's just so detailed, all these pieces. There's the cloak. I think it's the best fur I've have seen on any miniature so far. It's really nice detail. And there's Frostfang, obviously. Then we have, that's his back, okay, so it's sp split kind of in half and doesn't look too easy to kit bash with anything, but I think we'll manage. It's a part of the base, now this is my biggest, I think, gripe with this miniature, this right here, the foot is sculpted onto the base. I get it that it gives it a bigger point of contact, I guess. Makes the miniature more stable, but personally I wasn't planning on using the runes, most likely for my own Ragnar, so I'll have to chop that off, hopefully not ruin the miniature while at it. Not a big fan of this kind of stuff, to be honest. Um, and with that, I mean like sculpting the foot onto the scenery. If 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 the scenic base, I, I I get why we have a lot of scenic bases nowadays. And they're nice, but I think it should be easy. It would be good if it would be easy for people to also just opt to not use them. I think they had the same issue with the wolf, and wasn't a fan of that. Um, backpack. Primaris backpack with some wolf head details. Then we have his necklace or amulet, rather. Cool, cool. And his other foot or leg, rather. And the belt. I'm glad they kept the belt. Belt of Russ. And these, the detail on this. Shin guards, I guess. It was just fantastic. I'm not sure if it's. Well, nonetheless, 
looks really good, all the rooms and stuff. Can't wait to paint that up. Then there's his butt plate. Um, other foot. Also sculpted on some... Well, I guess that's the... Hold on. Yeah, so that's a part of... So it goes together with this one. So we'll have to chop that off here as well. That looks easier than chopping off the tiny piece of the foot. Then we have his chest piece. Really nice shoulder pad. Um, honestly, I, I really like the old Ragnar shoulder pad. I'm a little bit uh, sad that they changed it, but I I get it, I guess. Um, I get it. Then there's the wolf pelt for the shoulder and the other foot and the parts of the cloak. I think I have, there's the hand also with some nice, nice details there. I think I've gone through all the parts now. <clears throat> I think the holster looks really cool. I like the little icon on it. But yeah, I, I, I think that's all for the Ragnar Spruce. Um, personally, it looks great. The whole whole miniature, I can't wait to assemble it. Uh, so dynamic. Never seen this dynamic primaries before. Uh, really, really space wolfy. The only things that I honestly am not the big, not a huge fan of, is the giant top knot, which I get because it's Ragnar. It's iconic. And then this foot being sculpted onto the base. But other than that, it's fantastic. Fantastic work. Alright, let's move on. Next up, I think we'll look at Gaskul. Alright, here we have Gaskul. Um, first thing I noticed is that Makari is a part of the same kit. It's going to be in the same box. Um, Let's see, where do we begin? Well, then we have his back details, the pipes, the exhaust pipes. I, I love that. It's in the shape of bull's horns. Um, this is claw. I was wondering whether uh, the detail that was painted onto the heavy metal uh, Gaskell is actually sculpted on or just painted, so it looks like it's sculpted. The scrapes, that is. Um, there's a nice big skull there. I apologize, I'm not that well versed in. I, I, I was excited for Ragnar and the Space Wolf part, so this is kind of like yeah, looking at it while explaining. Uh, but this was a nice touch there, so you can choose uh, for his gun whether you want to use this smoke bit or the uh, ammo. So I guess if you want to have him shooting in a shooting pose or in a pose that's kind of done shooting and the barrels are smoking, I think that's a nice touch, giving a little bit of a little bit of choice. Mm, nothing sculpted. Onto the base, I don't think. No feet or anything. So you could opt to not use this scenic base. And we've got the new Primaris Lieutenant model there. I mean, that's everybody's buying the box for the new Primaris Lieutenant, right? Mm -hmm. Some orc guns there. And what else? Where's his head? I want to look at his head. Face there. There we have it. That's one nasty looking orc head. Interesting choice that it's empty. I guess it's supposed to 
Well, I'm not going to start finding the piece that it slots into. But yeah, uh, really nice detail on this kit as well. Lots of metal, and I enjoy that the metal has already been weathered for you, so you don't have to like do it yourself or just paint it on. Makes it a lot easier. Easier painting wise to add some variety uh, to the paint job. Really, really cool, all in all. Okay, I, I think that sums it up for the Gaskell spruce. And then I guess I could quickly show the infiltrators in the Orc spruce. But I think most of you have already... It's been out there, it's nothing new, but I'll quickly show them anyway. Be right back. I changed my mind a little bit, so I'm not going to going to go through the Orc spruce. It's nothing really uh, to show with them that people wouldn't know. I thought I'd quickly just let people know, although I think most people already knew and it was confirmed that it is indeed the uh, kit that you can build either as infiltrators or in cursors, so not the monopose. Uh, easy to build versions of the Shadow Spear box set, so that's nice. I'm personally looking forward to, I think, adding some in cursors to my to my wolf force but next let's look at the campaign book so be right back so you do actually get this nice little poster which i'm looking forward to adding to my hobby hobby garage walls it's the box art. Nice that it doesn't have any extra logos or anything like that. I didn't like that about the Blackstone Fortress uh, poster. So we've got that. Then we have some some transfers here and Gaskell Space. People are wondering about the size of Gaskell's base. Let me actually get my measure and let's see. One moment. Right, pull it back with a measure so it looks like it's an 80 mil base. Yeah, 80 millimeters. All right, so that's for those of you who were wondering about that. And then, after that, we have the transfers for the orcs, and the space walls look to be the regular. Regular transfers you get with every set, and then we have the campaign book wrapped in plastic. So let's carefully open that up. Lousiest plastic wrap uh, opening ever. It's hard on camera. The pressure is too much for me. All right. Mm, so there we have uh, Prophecy of the Wolf. This is the campaign book. I imagine. Yeah. And then we have a quick start guide with the core rules to play it's nice that's nice i am wondering when they will actually make a new starter set instead of the dark imperium whether it'll be a ninth edition or just eighth edition version two oh well here it answers my question 80 millimeter base for gasco and it's the assembly instructions for everything everything here Good stuff, good stuff. All right, but I think this is the most interesting part, so we can take a little closer look at it. Prophecy of the Wolf. So I'll just go through. Can 
I adjust my lights not to shine so badly. There we go. Content, Slayer of the Beast, Data Sheets, Feral Destinies. and missions so there's some fluff here about the setting I listened to the audiobook recently Saga of the Beast is actually quite good ended in a cliffhanger though so yes cunning and brutal and we have the data sheets here these are all people already know this. I guess I could show the Ragnar data sheet for a little while here. Alright, seems like a beast. Suitingly. Suitingly for him. And then we have the data sheet for Gaskell and Makari here. So you can pause and read if you wish to wish to do so. I think the biggest issue people had with Gaskul is that he doesn't have the infantry keyword anymore. It's kind of a nerf, I would guess. And there's the data sheet for Makari. Alright, nothing else should be new here really. Glyphs of violence. What's this? Okay. Some pictures of some, of some goth orcs. Game rules and missions. Alright. This section includes three Warhammer 40,000 Echoes of War missions. Uh, Telling the story of Ragnar Blackman's efforts to track down Gaskul Thraka and the Orc Warlord's attempts to trap and defeat the Space Wolves. Okay, so you can play the campaign. Mission 1 Getting the Scent. Mission 2 Opportunity Strikes. going to read it all I think but again if you wish to you can you can do so of course then there's mission to opportunity strikes And mission three. I missed this one. To catch a wolf. Okay. Here's the deployment. And there's the points value so Ragnar is 120 points Gaskul is 285 points and Makari is 65 points all right I think that pretty much wraps our uh, unboxing up um, hopefully it was of help I understand that many of you weren't able to get this despite wanting it and pre-ordering it and so on so uh, if you have any questions about the contents that I didn't answer here please let me know and I'd, I'll be happy to happy to help and hopefully the situation gets better and people get their get their miniatures as soon as possible um, but yeah uh, if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like 
and uh, if you want to see more of my stuff uh, do subscribe I plan on doing some tutorials maybe on Ragnar uh, like while painting Ragnar or then while painting some other regular regular space wolves in the near future trying to get more content out out during uh, this time of social isolation so you can also let me know if you have any wishes for those um, but yeah uh, thanks for watching this and we'll catch you next time all right cheers